the Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister called for the speedy extradition of Yagnesh Devani, saying it is in the interest of Kenyans that the fugitive is brought back to face the fraud charges. Uh, if a court in Jersey, which is basically a commonwealth jurisdiction like Kenya, has found that there are legitimate charges of violations of law, then it is incumbent on Mr. Tobiko to expedite the presentation of these charges before a, a court in Kenya. Mutula warned that continued pulling and pushing on whether or not the Nambale Member of Parliament, Chris Santos Okemo, and former KPLC Managing Director Samuel Gishuru have a case to answer or not risks making the country appear as though they are part of the crime, which he termed accessories to the fact, a legal term meaning the state law office would be protecting the suspects. For purposes of crime, you cannot do deals. If a person has committed a crime and you know where they are, you become an accessory after the fact. And I want to tell those people who think that this is a joke, that the moment these charges have been laid and you know where that person is and you facilitate is keeping away from justice, you are becoming an accessory after the fact. The Justice Minister says there is no need for the establishment of a prima facie case against the two since it has been determined that a crime was committed and it would be up to the two to go and clear their names in the UK court since the UK is a Commonwealth country. Isn't it enough to know that there is a court in the Commonwealth that has found that there are allegations surrounding no less than 900 billion shillings or something to that effect, even if it was one shilling, diverted from public resources through corruption and put in foreign accounts for the benefit of an individual, what prima facie case do you need? Meanwhile, Nairobi Chief Magistrate Gilbert Mutembe set the hearing of a case in which Divani and others are charged in connection with the multi-million shilling Triton oil scandal to 1st, 2nd and 3rd of August. Judith Akolo, The Friday Edition.